my set. I love the Beijing group. It's amazing. I mean, what else can I say? Barbados is paradise. I love coming here. the music but they're not playing it they're afraid to play it I've always had this thing about wanting to bring my connection back home the performers like Marcus Visionary and people like Gremlin they all want to come to Barbados and Trinidad but they have never known how and I would also like to thank Simon and Radio Kazari for working extremely hard like I've never seen anyone work and I think this will bring a lot more to come. Barbados, uh, very excited to play here because we're bringing, uh, you know, bringing UK bass music here. So it's like kind of a experiment and also making history at the same time, you know. So, you know, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Yeah, it's okay. I'm gonna start off a little bit of house, then into some dubstep, a little bit of drum and bass, and then maybe back into some house, some electro. Uh, you know, just mix it up, you know. I play a bit of everything like when I DJ, so you know, just to make sure everyone knows what you know, try and get everybody into the music. I'm doing a bit of music for Carnival this year. I've got a couple of songs. I have a rhythm out called the 145 Rhythm, which Scream is actually playing tonight, which I'm very happy about. They love the vibe of soca music, but we need to make soca music in the way that they can understand it. Not just about Monday and Tuesday and Carnival and Jewelry and Crop Over and that kind of thing, you know what I mean? I think the Caribbean has a lot to provide to the sound of dubstep and drum and bass because, you know, it's actually rooted in Caribbean music. The reggae bass line, dubs, dubstep. Dub, dub. Come on. It's Tuesday, my boy, Mr. Scream! I, I, I said on the mic, like, probably 15 times, thank you. But generally meant thank you because I'd been told about the problems and and how much Barbados is like cooked on so US dance music and, and the whole the whole like you know commercial sort of thing. So I know it was a little bit of a challenge, but I really enjoyed it. Never been here before, so for that many people to stay, like. It's the first time in a long, in, in like six years that I've played in a city for the first time with nobody, with no expectation. That was fun, it was fun. Barbados was amazing, but, but Lime Grove was even better. I sat in my hotel room all day and left my family on the beach to, to, to make my set okay for here. So, yeah, you had me. Yeah. I'm the flying fish that's grilled right now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh,